Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the minesweeper problem. Let's first see the statement. We are given a 2D chart matrix representing the game board. M represents an unrevealed mine. E represents an unrevealed empty square. B represents a revealed blank square that has no agents. Agents. Agent. Above, below, left, right, and all four diagonals mines. Digit one two eight represents how many mines are agent to this revealed square, and finally X represents a revealed mine. Now, given the next click position, row, and column indices, among other unrevealed squares M or E. Return the board after revealing this position according to the following rules. If a mine M is revealed, then the game is over. Change it to X. If an empty square E with no agents miles is revealed, then change it to reveal the blank B and all of its agent unrevealed squares should be revealed recursively. I think this sentence is very important because. It、uh, actually indicates that we can use deferred search to solve this problem. If、uh, an empty square with no agent、uh, miles, we should do the same thing: the update board to all its agent unrevealed squares. So that should use deferred search. If an empty square with at least one agent. To mine is revealed, then change it to a digit one to eight, representing the number of agent、uh, miles. Then finally return the board when no more squares will be revealed. So let's see. First, we need to understand the, the different meaning of different charts. M, which is unrevealed mine. E, unrevealed empty square. B, which is the revealed blank square that has no agent, agents, agent miles, and this means eight directions: above, below, left, right, two diagonals, and、uh, we use a digit to indicate how many miles are agent to this revealed square. And X is a revealed mine. So this problem actually give us a board and give us a click. Uh, which the coordinate of this、uh, block we need to click. So we need to、uh, think different cases. The first case is that if the block is a mine, which means it is either unrevealed or a revealed, which means it's M O X. And if it's a mine, we just return, but do not forget to change. This place to X if it's unrevealed. Okay, this is one simple case. If there are mines agent to this block, which means there is some mines in at least eight directions, we need to update the number, which indicates the number of agent agent mines. So how do we get the number? Actually, we just ch check the eight directions. See whether it is a mine. Okay. So if、uh, there is mine, we just return. We change, update the number, then we return. The third case is that if there is no、uh, mines agent to this block, we need to change this e to b, and we need to defer search for the other agent or unrevealed empty squares. So that is the algorithm. Okay, let's see the example. If this is a given board, and we need to click this row three, column one, and as we first check its eight directions, actually only these three directions are valid, and there is no mines. So we just change it to B, and then we keep update the board to these three directions. Actually, do deferred search. Okay, then this is our current place, and we need to click it. And we see it's、uh, eight directions. There is no mine, so we do the same thing. We update this e to b, 
and do the depth first search to all its eight directions. Actually, uh, these directions are not valid, so we just keep do DFS then. Also, there is no mines, so we just update it to B, the same thing. Then we go right until here. We find there is a mine. So we write one here because there is only one mine in its eighth direction, and we return. So we do not touch this place because this we change it to one and we return. Then we return here, return here, and we go right. We also find one mine, so we write one here and return. We write we find one mine, so we update it to one and we return. And then then we keep a go right, b b b b, and we go up. There will be b b b, and then we go. Left, and with, there is one mine in its eight direction. So we update here to one, and then we return. So in both directions, we do not touch this place. So it, till the end, it's uh, it's still E, which means unrevealed empty square. And then we return, and then we go left, update it here to one, and we return, and then we go left, update it here to one, and return. And return, 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 and go here. Update it to one and return. So finally, we get this uh, final bold. This here is still E. So how about this example? If we are given this bold and we need to click the row one and the column two, because this is a mine here, so we just change it to X and return the bold. Okay. So the algorithm is very clear. Now let's write the code. We first write the directions array. You should be very familiar about these um, directions. Okay, that means uh, the same row, but uh, the column increment by one. So it's on right, on its right. And uh, that means go left. That means go up, then go down. And uh, minus one, minus one. One, one, and one, negative one, and negative one, one. Okay, these eight directions. So we first get the row index, which will be click zero, and the column index will be click one. We also get the M, which is the rows in the board. M is the columns in the board. Okay, so. If the bold row column equal to the, which means it is a mine, so M, or bold row column is a X, we change this place to X in case it is M, so then we return the bold. Okay. Then we need to calculate uh, its eight direction, see whether there is mines. So at first it's zero. Then for every direction, directions, the new row will be direction zero plus row, and the new column will be direction one plus column. So at first, these four directions should be valid, and the new row should less than the M and uh, new column should grade or equal to zero and the new column less than M and uh, this bold new row is a mine. New column is a mine. Let's uh, number increment by one. So in the end, if the number greater than zero. We just update the bold row index to this digit. And we return this bold. If there is no mines, we just update the bold row column to the B. Right, this is blank, change it to B. Okay, I made a mistake here. Here, we know this is a char bold, so we need to convert that to char. Should plus this zero, change it to the uh, a 
according to the ASCII code, change it to char. Okay. Then for its eight directions, we see if this place equal to e unrevealed, we keep up update this bold. There will parse update bold, parse this bold, and the new there will be new row, new column. And finally, we return this bold. Okay, so that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.